Earlier in this section, we talked about what it means for a function to be differentiable. We said, said a function is differentiable if f prime of a exists at a, at a certain a value. And I want to talk about what that actually looks like here. So we have a few things to th think about. First, if f is differentiable at x equals a, so that's saying if, all that's saying is if f prime of a exists, then f is continuous at x equals a. And I don't think that this is particularly helpful to us right now because we don't exactly know what it means for a function to be differentiable. I, I just said I kind of want to look at this a little bit more and, and gain a little bit more understanding. So if we kind of phrase that theorem a little bit differently, if we kind of swap some things around, it says if f is not continuous at x equals a, so if f is discontinuous at x equals a, then f is not differentiable at x equals a. And I think that this is a really, really um, nice way to start to understand what it means for a function to not be differentiable. So in order to gain a better understanding of that, I'm going to look at this example. We have this lovely graph that I've drawn here in blue. Here's f of x. I want to, first of all, find the values of x in this interval, negative 5 to 5, at which f is not continuous. So where do I have any sort of discontinuities? So I'm going to look for holes in my graph. I'm going to look for jumps. I'm going to look for asymptotes, right? The same types of discontinuities that we worried about in the last section. So Hopefully we look, okay, for part A, we want to talk about x values where we have discontinuities. I see a hole in my graph right here, a removable discontinuity looks like at x equals negative 4. So at x equals negative 4, our function is not continuous. And then I'm going to look, okay, is there anywhere else where my function fails to exist? Well, I've got this big old vertical asymptote right there at x equals positive 4. I know that's going to be a problem too. So at x equals negative 4, I have a discontinuity. And at x equals positive 4, I have a discontinuity. And that looks like all there is to it here. It looks like those are the only discontinuities that I have. Part B is the more interesting question, though. And this is what I want to spend more time on. It says, find the values of x in the interval negative 5 to 5, at which f is not differentiable. So we actually have a few points that we can already say for certain because of this theorem that we gave earlier. We said, hey, if f is not continuous, then it's also not differentiable. So I already found some points where f is not continuous. I said it's not continuous at negative 4 and positive 4. So if it's not continuous at those points, it's also not differentiable. So at x equals negative 4, x equals positive 4, our function is also not differentiable. And I think this makes sense if we think about what the derivative tells us. Remember I said earlier, the derivative tells us the slope of the tangent line. Think about how would I even sketch in the slope of the tangent line right there at that hole? I, I, I don't even... Do I look at, you know, do I look at this point right here or do I look at this point right here? And if I am looking at this point right here, it, how, I can't draw a tangent line for one specific point. I need, I need the function to be continuous. So it, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Over here, we've got an even bigger problem because our function just doesn't exist right there. So if my function doesn't exist, I can't draw in a tangent line. I, there, there's just nothing I can do. So if I can't draw in a tangent line, tangent line has no slope, has no derivative, it's not differentiable. But there's also other places where our function can fail to be differentiable, and I want to point a couple of them out. The first one is right here. And again, I want to keep in mind the derivative tells us the slope of the tangent line. If I ask you to draw in the tangent line right here, say, okay, well, is this the tangent line? Is that what I'm looking at, or is this the tangent line? This is a big problem, because I don't really know which one to pick. I, I, I can't pick both. The derivative has to have one single value. It's, it's, going to, it's, it's, it's a function. So I can't pick both, and I, there's, they're both kind of equally valid options. So this point right here, my function is going to fail to be differentiable. So it looks like at x equals negative 2, 
So x equals negative 2. That's where I have a, or excuse me, my function is not differentiable. Because I don't know how to draw in, oops, I don't know how to draw in the slope of the tangent line. Does it look like this or does it look like this? So okay, there's 1 at x equals, we said, negative 2. The other one is a lot more subtle. And um, I'm, I'm just going to tell you here because I think it is very difficult to point out. It's right here is going to be a problem for us. And there you might be saying, well, that point doesn't really look all that weird. It's not, you know, it's, it's continuous there. We don't have like a, a weird sharp corner like we did over here. But think about if you sketched in the tangent line right here. And this is kind of difficult for me to draw. But if I sketched in the tangent line, it looks something like this. Say, so, okay, well, we have a tangent line. That's, that's good. But what's the slope of that tangent line? Slope of a vertical line is technically undefined. So what you're telling me is that the derivative is undefined. The deri that's the same as saying the derivative does not exist. The derivative does not exist, the function is not differentiable. So at x equals, this is occurring at x equals positive 2 this time. At x equals positive 2, my function fails to be continuous, or excuse me, fails to be differentiable as well. The things you want to look out for, and just to kind of summarize this last section right here, this last idea, f is not differentiable at any sort of discontinuity. So if you have a discontinuity, whether it's a hole, whether it's a, a jump in your graph, something like that, any sort of discontinuity, that's going to be a problem for you. The derivative does not exist at that x value. If you have, like we did earlier, we had a sharp corner right here. So something like that, a corner. Um, sometimes we call, there's a special case of a corner called a cusp. It might look something like this. Oops, make sure it's a function. Something like this. Um, I'm just going to say sharp corners here. Those tend to be problems because I don't know what the uh, derivative looks like there. And actually here at this point, this is actually kind of a combination of sharp corners. And the last one is when we had that vertical tangent line. And this is kind of difficult to draw. It looks something like that. If you drew in the tangent line right here, you'd have that vertical line at vertical tangents, the function is not going to be differentiable as well. So those are the three things I want you to kind of keep an eye out for, is if we have any sort of discontinuity, if we have any sharp corners, if we have any vertical tangents, I already know I can look at that and say, you know what, the derivative does not exist, f of x is not differentiable at that particular x value.